All right. Roll it. Yep. Hey guys, Capper here and welcome back to another vlog episode. This one you're really going to like. First of all, can you just smell this shop here? The, the brand new rubber and steel and plastic. I mean, it just smells like brand new off-road machines. So anyways, I'm looking at the new Polaris 1000 units. I'm comparing them between Can-Am and Polaris 1000s. And I'm looking at both kind of an open cab model and the new Cadillac version, which has a completely enclosed insulated cab with heat and air conditioning. So without further ado, let's get into this and check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow all of the action. Thanks. Yeah. All right. So he's, what's your name? My name's Luke. Luke. All right. This is, uh, we're looking at the thousands over to 900s, and he was just telling me about the changes with the 1000s over to 900s. So there was a ton of changes um, from the old style to the new style. Everything's bigger, beefier, stronger. Um, you got an inch more ground clearance, so it used to be 12 inches, now it's 13. Um, your bumpers are a little stronger. You got a, a bigger uh, mount right there, so if you are pulling it out, Yeah, right, uh huh. We're cleaning up my mess now. All right, ready? All right, I don't really like this uh, at all. your winch mounts and everything are a little different or you got spaces for lights here your winch mount is built into the frame so it's stronger the complete redesign on the wow. front which is more truck like um, your new wheels and tires these tires were specifically designed for the thousand you can see they're a lot wider a little wider in the back than the front it's a little more sidewall okay. um, do you know what ply they are offhand uh, I believe they're six ply Okay. Your bed is bigger and deeper. Um, it's metal reinforced at the corner, so it's stronger. So if you've got got stuff that is in there, is uh, it a dump bed? Is oh it, yeah, absolutely. It has it, a 500 pound um, hydraulic assist on it. So okay. if you've got rock or dirt or whatever in there, you don't have to muscle it up. Okay. Um, of course, you can see the motor and everything there goes down easy it just locks right into place all right there's a look at how deep it is over here on this side and uh, so the North Star we were looking at that's basically the cab model it's the cab model so it's exactly the same machine but you got the full doors Glass front and back, of course, roll down uh, windows on the side, heat and air. Okay. Okay. You got a two inch receiver on the thousand stock. Standard mode, the work mode, and the performance mode is only on the 1000s. So that was new for the redesign also. Because there's an electronic throttle, that okay. basically changes the sensitivity of the throttle. Okay. So like work mode is less sensitive. So like if you're hauling a load or loading on a trailer where you need to be real careful and smooth, work mode is what you need to be in. Of course, standard mode is just regular, and the performance mode is a little more sensitive where you're ready to just hammer Go. down. All right. Um, 
your complete redesign of the interior is a lot nicer you have a ton more storage they got storage everywhere for all kinds of stuff um, of course you got a big tray down here six uh, cup holders the, the coolest thing I think is what they did under the passenger seat there was a lot of unused space in the old I style could see there. that being really we're always piling stuff in on the passenger seat in so the floor they got this little ridge for a five gallon bucket so you can put a five gallon bucket right there fill it full of tools gloves whatever put your seat down and it locks it in place so it's not sliding all over ah yes the joys of clay country all right i straightened out the uh straighten out the tires on the intimidator Believe me, people, I don't do this stuff on purpose. I, I got much better things to do with my time. It's not gonna fall out if you take a turn or anything like that. A lot of, it also doubles as a Yeti makes a five gallon bucket. Okay. Which is actually a cooler. So you can keep a cooler in there also, which is really cool. Nice, it is really cool. That probably should come with it, I would think. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Let's take it for a ride. Well, we're going to take it for a little spin. It's probably good that they don't allow you to go off-road or anything. They don't want the grass torn up. And this is kind of in a city area. But uh, you'll see when I punch it, there's no fast motion or anything here. This is all going to be at normal speed i just can't believe the power and torque of this polaris 1000 i mean it feels like you're punching a motorcycle literally all right yep Yep. Yep, my head actually jerked back and I had to let off the gas immediately. Let's check it out in slow mo. She slicked up good, a little mishap with the truss truck. Let's hope Morris gets her up here without the back end going. This is performance mode. Makes the throttle a little more responsive, the whole machine a little more responsive. Of course, can't get up to any kind of real speed here in the parking lot, but it'll definitely pull your head back. That's insane! <laughs> Up on the grass. <laughs> Woo! Nice. All right, here we go. Okay, so why am I putting all of these incidents of being stuck in here? First of all, it was just for fun, but then I realized how often we get stuck. Um, so I'm really hoping for a machine this time that, kind of like the Branson, that I am really, really going to have to work to get it stuck or it's dang near impossible to get stuck and I think that Polaris might be the one. You know you're not allowed to have things go smooth anymore but uh, I went on my second pass and but it's just it's just too much to overcome. I mean look at this mess. This is a new feature of the Thousand. Uh, 
because they're so accessory oriented you got six slots for basically plug and play accessories so a winch powers up right there light bars you know some guys may have three and four light bars on this thing um, the radio everything's already set up so you just unplug these pop them out wow. and all the Polaris accessories basically just plug right in you got your wires and you're done nice you no know, kind of hard wiring or anything needed um, and you don't have to get a solder gun or anything and these are you said the air That's intake your air intakes yeah so that gets you pretty so far underwater in theory you in theory you could be up to the base of them underwater yeah in theory wow and there's guys that do it you know if you watch youtube uh, some of these guys, <laughs> yep they go this deep you know before oh before man before. wow but they're sweet okay so this blue one there that's a north star edition with heat and air conditioning this camo one is the other one that i'm looking at i'm looking at two different price ranges either the camo one that doesn't have all the bells and whistles and or this north star one that does have the heat and air conditioning and i'm going to tell you when you think about it we're down in the heat and the humidity and the cold and the rain um this could really come in handy to allow you to be in the outdoors and be a lot more comfortable and and someday i would like to do some trail riding it's on my hit list to do some mountain trail riding so maybe in arkansas or down south or even out west but with that cab and the dust and the heat and the cold that's really going to open up opportunities now it's not cheap i'm going to tell you that for sure all right i'll try it again in two-wheel drive and then i'll switch to four All right, so here's the inside of the uh, North Star cab. This is the enclosed one. It's got a tilt steering. Um, the seat is adjustable. I really like the shift lever. It makes sense in the order that they're in, unlike a couple of our other UTVs. Heater, air conditioner, and all by all reports, these things work fantastic. Um, I really like the electronic three mode for the accelerator. It, does have a lot of storage in here but this one has a little bit less storage because of the heating vents and that but it even has defrosters on the windshield um, to keep that down it's got a windshield wiper yeah okay that was one of my first tractors there I got that baby stuck and I even got the Ford stuck here in our Illinois place but we are in clay country so back to the uh, cab it's insulated it's got roll down windows. You can get power windows for another $3,500. Um, the doors are like real doors. I mean, they're hefty. They carry a lot of beef. Now, check out this one. I'm trying to get one of these. It's a camo, but it's like a one way back um, screen, which is really cool. And honestly, with that camo roof and the camo sides and that, you know, like for hunting, you could really blend this thing in. So, I mean, I am really, really impressed with these machines and the way they're built. So, let's take a look at the wipers. It's got two speeds of wipers, which really surprised me. It's got a wiper spray there on the right side. And I also like this. You got your three levels of four-wheel drive. It's all push button. So, you got your one wheel, basically, then your posi traction, then your front four-wheel drive. So, it... It will do right, true four-wheel drive if and when you need right, it. We got a demo here of low gear crawling ability from the manager, Abe. He was telling me about this if I tried it. I said I didn't even need to put it in low gear crawling up stuff. So he's putting it in work mode. Low gear. Yeah, I'm pretty sure on our farm we will find much, much larger challenges. But this is a cool demonstration. Check this out. So if I just crawl up to the curb, I can just jam it. So you have a lot of, a lot of play in that pedal.
freaking awesome. No, let's see that. I was driving it, but I didn't crank it all the way. Okay, so he locked the rear differential on purpose, which I didn't realize, and you'll see why here in just a second. Wow, tight turning radius for a big machine. Wow, so that was with uh, the rear locked. And I imagine it's even sharper yet when you unlock it. Yeah, that is tight. Okay, and this is the last demo, which is pretty cool. Um, it's basically just demonstrating the control you can have on this machine. For those of you guys that have quads, you know that going uphill and with challenges like that, it's, it's kind of hard nice. to get that minutia of control and this thing is just literally amazing with those electronic controls so definitely stay tuned and see what decisions I make um, I may not even go drive the Can-Am um, based on what I've read and watched a lot of they're very similar machines the Can-Am seems to be a bit louder and the Polaris has a little bit more ground clearance other than that, uh, the Polaris has air conditioning too in the uh, North Star model. The Can-Am only has heat, which is a huge, huge difference when you live down in, you know, 100 degree, 90% humidity weather. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to be pulling the trigger on something. I'm cashing in that dog of a Kubota, so we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next go-around.